In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a grayscale shader in Unity. First things first is let's make a tutorial folder. So I have this grayscale tutorial folder. I'm gonna right click, create, shader, universal render pipeline, sprite lit shader graph. And I'm gonna name it grayscale tutorial. When I open this, you're gonna see a few windows and two components, the vertex and the fragment. Um, I'll explain what that is in a second. First thing I like to do though is I like to right click on main preview and click quad so it actually shows, um, it doesn't wrap the texture around a sphere, it actually just shows kind of how your input default sprite looks with the shader applied. Next thing I do is I'm going to click this, this is on Blackboard, I'm going to click this plus button, I'm going to create a texture 2D and I'm going to call it underscore main text and it has to be exactly as I've shown it. This will basically grab texture from the sprite and this is what it's called on the back end so it needs to be exactly this. So now I'm going to come into my shader graph portion. I'm going to right click create node. I'm going to search texture and I'm going to grab a sample texture 2D. So grayscale is just multiplying R, G, and B by a value, combining them into a single value, and then applying that value to R, G, and B so they all have the same value. So now that I have my sample texture, let me grab this main text, drag it in here, and I'm going to hook it up to my sample texture. So now you see main text is hooked up to this node here. The next thing I'm going to do is I can open the graph inspector and you'll see my main text here. I'm going to select a default sprite here. So in my project, I have a bear sprite. So let me just grab bear attack 000. And that will allow me to preview that bear sprite as we're doing the grayscale to like grayscale shader. We'll be able to see how that looks in this bottom corner. Okay, now that that's done, let's just go ahead and hide the graph inspector. And you can see there's kind of a bear here with some extra details around it. Okay, so with the sample texture, we have the RGBA4 channel. So this is already combined, but it also has this RGBA separate channel. So we're going to multiply each RGB by a value. And then A, let's just go ahead and grab A now and we're going to hook it up to the alpha channel on fragment. And when I do that, you can see that it actually shows the outline of the bear now. Now, for R, G, and B, we're going to multiply them. So let's go ahead and create node, multiply. I'm going to minimize this because I don't need to preview the multiplication. And I'm going to make a few of these. Okay, now I can hook up my R, G, and B to these. So let's just go ahead and do that. R, G, and B. Now we need to determine what we're going to multiply these by. If you go online, you can find some basic algorithms for R, G, and B, what these need to be multiplied by to have um, reasonable values. But I actually have my own values that I kind of experimented with that I like. So I'm going to put in 0.399 for R, 1.207 for G, and then for B, I'm going to put in 0.105. Now, again, so a more typical RGB algorithm is going to multiply by 0.3 instead of 0 0.399, 0 0.59 instead of 1.207, and 0 0.11 instead of 0 0.105. Again, you can kind of just play with the values to get the kind of colors you like. Um, again, so there's like, if you just search grayscale algorithm, you can find the exact color multiplication and schemes that people use. I'm gonna use these numbers for now. Now, we need to add all three of these things together. So we're going to create a node, add. And 
And you can only add or multiply two things at a time. So I'm going to add these two things first. I'm going to create another node, add. I'm going to add the output from the previous edition. And then finally, the add uh, the blue multiplication. So now I have RGB that are multiplied and added together. I'm going to create one more node called combine. And I'm going to put in this value for R, G, and B. And then I have an option for RGBA4, RGB3, and RGB2. I'm going to grab that RGB3, and I'm going to put it into base color. And now you'll see that there is a grayscale preview over here of my bear. So I can save this. Save asset. Now my grayscale shader is done and here is my grayscale shader here. I'm going to right click that, create material, and now this is the material I can actually assign to my sprite. So if I look up, if I grab this and I say uh, let me just call it gray scale material. This is actually the material that I will use to assign to my assets. So if I go to a thing that I already have open, which is this frog, and I go to my sprite, instead of having the sprite let default, if I assign my gray scale material, you'll see that it changes this frog to be more gray scale. And that's it, it's that simple. If you found this tutorial useful, go ahead and check out my game, Boris the Sloth. It's on Steam and also iOS and Android. Thank you.